Falstaff is essentially a social comedy. There's a real sense of time and period and social activity. The entire town of Windsor is brought into action in a way that I don't think any other opera involves um, a social milieu. When we came to work on this production, it seemed an interesting way to focus ourselves on this piece. In the second part of the 20th century, after the Second World War, the other two things that were very important to us in this production were also the notion of the hunt, because Falstaff is always talking about hunting, hunting women, hunting animals. So we wanted to use this notion of hunting, which is, of course, an aristocratic pastime. So we've had fun with that in the situation of Sir John Falstaff hunting Alice Ford, hunting Meg, etc. The other thing which is so important in this production that we've concentrated on a lot are the pleasures of eating and drinking. So we've created a production in which there is eating and drinking in every scene. So it's an opera which celebrates not just eating and drinking, but community. Everything about food and drink is about sharing. We've had a lot of fun uh, with this period, notably for the clothes. I mean, Brigitte has its Dior, uh, wonderful cuts of clothing for the women, wonderful use of fabrics, too great fun there. And, of course, um, a very wide use of the wonderful fabrics that are used in men's clothes, tweeds, hunting, pinks, as they're called, the beautiful use of felts, leather and shoes, and all these things that are so wonderful in men's clothing. Fall Stuff is a, is a completely unique work in that it's really an ensemble opera. There are very few arias. There are almost no moments when anyone is alone on stage. So I'm very much looking forward to doing this at the Met with this great company of artists, with James Levine, of course, conducting this, and with Ambrogio Maestri, who created the production for us in London, who was also with us in Milano, and who is, of course, a fantastic full stuff with all the joy and joie de vivre that this character has to have. And what is so unique in the work is that Verdi, at the end of this extraordinary life, a man of 80 years old, was able to write something so fresh, so um, effervescent, but yet with this knowledge that th at a certain moment the party's over. And all of that is in this work, but it is essentially a celebration of life and a celebration of living in the moment. Thank <laughs> you.